Hello everybody, it's me Sam Cove, Whoop Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to use and install the iZone plugin for Bucket. Now this is a protection zone plugin uh, by TechGuard, and it basically allows you to create zones in your world which you can apply flags to. Now flags are things like will explosions explode in this zone, uh, are people allowed to destroy in this zone, uh, welcome messages, farewell messages, many more and I'm going to go over all the flags later. So for this tutorial I'm going to go over the in-game side of it first, how to actually create the zones and configurate them and then I'm going to go into the configs and show you all what to do there. So first of all I'm in my world and I want to create a protection zone for my house which I've built. You can see a very, very flashy house. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's start with the commands. First command is iZone, and this just simply shows the version that you're running of iZone. The next command is zmod, and this will show you a list of all the possible commands that you can use. So we're going to go over what all these commands do. So the first one we want to do is the create. But first of all, we need to select two points for our cuboid of the zone. So the selection tool for this is the wooden shovel by default you can change this in the config and we're going to left click and right click two points of the uh, zone so that the whole uh, cuboid is encompassed uh, the whole house is inside the cuboid so let's have one point here and we'll set the other point over here so if you imagine these two points will make the uh, house in between them uh, have a keyboard around it. So you need to right click and left click. Left click is first point, right click is second point. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to do zmod, create, and then the name. So this is whatever you want to create it. Mine choose house. Okay, so that's, we've created our first zone. So now if we do zmod list, we show a list of all the zones inside the uh, server or world and as you can see there's one zone and that's called house if I was to create multiple more zones that number would increase and there would be more names there so another tool I'm going to show you is the wooden saw tool now we can right click anywhere and it will show us whether or not we're in a zone so let's right click here because this block is in the zone in the zone, yeah, and we get a nice little information packet on where we've clicked. So it's found that there's a zone, and it's called name house as we've defined. Hasn't got any flags at the moment, but I'll show you how to add them soon. And whoever's allowed in the zone, whoever uh, the protection applies to, and whatnot. So as you can see, only one at the moment, and that's me. I'm the owner, Sam Q. Okay, so if I was to go outside the zone, say over here. Uh, as you can see, no zone found. I also did the same thing by doing zmod info when inside a uh, no, we're not inside a zone. Zmod info and then the name of the zone, so house, and I get the same information packet, and I don't have to be there just to get information on it. Okay, so that's the information part of it. Now let's do zmod who. This, oh, I'm not actually in the zone yet. The one who this will show all the players who are in your current zone. So if there was more players in this zone, it would show more players, and the number would increase. As you can see, though, it says house, so I know I'm in the zone house. So before we do anything else, I'm gonna say I have add a mine system or something, and my my protection doesn't go that far. So what I'm gonna do is expand it downwards. I'm going to also expand it upwards, but I'm going to show you how to do it downwards, and it's the same for upwards. So I'm going to do zmod expand, and then I'm going to have the zone name, which will be house, down, and then how many blocks I want it down. So let's have 20. It's quite a big mine, so 20. So now the you can't actually see it, but the actual cuboid around this has been increased, so that now it's 20 blocks lower than what it was previously. And I can also do the same higher, should I build my house higher or something like that. Okay, so now I'm going to 
add some flags. See a list of all the flags. We're going to do Z module flag, and we get to see a list of all the flags. So there's protection, monster, animal, welcome, farewell, and all done there. I'm going to go over the main ones and just explain to you what they do. So one of the main ones you're going to be using is the protection. If you're wanting to use this as a protection one, so let's have a look at that. So first of all, we'll do Z mod flag the name of the zone, so house, and then protection. Now you don't even have to type all of in, all, all of in. You can just type protect, for instance, and it will just assume what you've put. So there we are, protection flag on. So now, if another player was to come along, go inside the zone, and try to grief my house, uh, they would not be allowed to unless they're on the whitelist. So to add someone to the whitelist, say I, my friend comes along and he's like, oh, I, I can't I can't add, edit your house. He wants to add like a porch or something, I don't know. So you can do Zmod uh, allow zone, so house, and then the player name. So let's have x -tarrant. So now if x was to come along, uh, he will be able to edit the house as well. So we can have a look at that by doing, if I right click for instance here, you can see it's updated with the allowed users of Sam here and Xtorrent and the flag protection has been enabled as well. So the only two people allowed to edit this zone are Xtorrent and Sam here. Okay, so that's one of the flags. We can also disallow people by doing disallow house and then the player name, so Xtorrent. So now say he griefed it when I said him not to and I don't want him to edit it anymore or the porch was horrific. I can remove him from the protection, so now that only I can edit once again. Now you could add uh, as many people as you like, but you cannot uh, disallow yourself as the owner. Okay, so let's have a look. We've done most of them. Let's have a look at all the flags. We can explain some more. So, as you can see, we've got some more flags. Let's add a new flag to it. Let's add the welcome flag. So Zmod flag, zone, house, welcome, and then you've got the welcome message. So this will be the message displayed to random people when they walk into your zone. So let's have welcome to Sam Kyo's house. Uh, there's welcome to house. We can also use color codes in this. So the way you use color codes, you use the at symbol or the ampersand. And then the color code. So let's have red, which is C. And then we'll have house. So there we are. We toggled the welcome flag on. So now if I exit the uh, zone and then re enter, it says welcome to house. So you can configure that to how you like, and you can also have color codes. And this is the same for farewell. Zmod flag house farewell. And then we have the message going okay, goodbye. And then when we leave, It'll say goodbye when we enter. It says welcome to house. So that's the welcome, farewell. Uh, we've got other flags as well. Uh, for instance, we've got TNT, Zmod, flag, house, TNT. There are. So now TNT is disabled. So let's 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 take this to the test. We're actually gonna risk it and place TNT in my house. Let's hope this goes well. Right. right, so it's going to be really risky and we're going to place it right here. And let's risk this. So now as you can see the TNT is exploding and has not done any damage to my house. It's done damage to me but none to the house. So obviously it's worked. So that's great. So as you can see you can add flags like that and that's similar to the explosion flag as well. Uh, say creeper explosions and stuff they will not blow up your place and that's the same with enderman if enderman takes a block it will not allow that and what not uh, but yeah we've got lightning we've got fire those th sort of things work the same thing work the same way we also disallow monsters and stuff we're doing zmod flag monster uh, house monster and this will just make uh, no monsters allowed in this zone or spawn in this zone. Okay, and that's generally all of them. You can also have PvP and interact and these, but these are 
should be self-explanatory hopefully so say you want to land the final command is deletion of his own which is nice and simple zmod delete house and there we go the house no longer exists it's still it exists but the zone does not exist anymore okay so now now that's the in-game side of it as the perfect timing sun's going down but uh yeah I'm gonna go and show you how to actually install it and go over the config. So see you in a bit. Hello, so now we're in the configuration side and we're over how to install it. So go to the thread as you would and I'll provide a link in the description. You're gonna hit the download link here. This will take you to this page. You've got two choices. Uh, you've got support, uh, tech guys, you can click here and it has adverts or you can just click there. I would recommend clicking this one just to support the developer. But uh, there you go, download that and you should have a zip folder. And if we just find that zip folder, shall we? Yep, there we go. We've got two uh, folders, iZone and iZone Jar. Just drag and drop those into your plugins directory. I've got loads of plugins in there for some reason. So we're going to look over the configuration. So go to your server plugins, iZone, and there should be three, uh, three files. One is saves, config, and iconomy. So let's first take a look at config. Okay, so first of all, we have the tools. So as you saw in the game, we use the wooden shovel to define uh, the areas. So this is ID 269. If you want to change this to like a stick or something, you can change that and change the ID. Same with the wooden sword. You can change the check uh, item to whatever you like as well. Uh, okay, so restriction, you have zone and size. This uh, basically is how how big how the maximum sort of restriction size you want. So we have a node, izone.zone.maxzone.unlimited, and this has size minus one. Minus one means unlimited. But we can create our own permission nodes say we wanted like VIPs to have slightly bigger than normal users or want a maximum we can have say like uh, let's have a size or well, the number of zones could be five for instance and then we can create our own permission uh, node here so let's have i zone dot zone dot max max zone dot five and that would create a permission node so we can use in like any permission plugin of five. So we can instead of giving everyone unlimited permission node, we can give them the five permission node. And this is the same for the maximum size. This is how many blocks there is. So minus one is unlimited, but we can create our own and set a permission node there. And we can create as many as we like want here. Okay, so we also got this hurting. This is a flag. Uh, there's many flags and one of them was hurting and this just shows how much hurting they get so every seven seconds they will get two damage hearts so you can configure that and then there's also a flag for healing so you want to make a hospital for instance uh, that will show you how much healing they have over time so every three seconds they get one heart okay so when also people create a a, uh, a zone by default everything is false yep so all the flags are false but what we can do we can set for instance protection to say true so that when people create them by default protection is true so say you had mods that were protecting uh, people's creations it might be an idea to set protection for true and interact to true as well just for the fact that they will they won't have to keep typing uh, flag for protection and interaction for every person's um, person's building they'll just have to allow them so that goes over the config so save that okay there's also an economy sort of uh, thing if you have economy plugin you can enable uh, economy. 
So, first of all, we've got enabled true or false. Set that to true if you want to use iconomy. And basically, you can set how much it will cost to do the following action. So, how, how much will it cost to create a zone? So, you can charge people to create zones, you can charge people to delete zones, you can charge people to disallow players, and you can charge people to allow players. So, that's if you've got iconomy installed, you can actually charge for creation of zones. And then saves will just have all the iZone saves. Okay, and that concludes today's tutorial. I, I quite like iZone, it's a very simple protection plugin. It doesn't require uh, much well, much understanding, I mean, it's e really easy to pick up and uh, it's generally uh, very simple to use. So, check it out. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's me, Sam Kev, Gaming, signing out.